Hi, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out how does a person feel about you right now. And this is a collective reading for Water Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is specifically for you, even if you're, even if you're dealing with the same uh, water sign, okay? Um, let's get your reading started. Water signs, just give me one moment. And I'm so sorry if you can hear the rain. I'm outside right now and there will be vehicles moving back and forth. I just thought I needed a change of environment. A little bit tired of sitting in my room <laughs> all day. But anyway, let's get our reading started, okay? Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. How does the person feel about them right now? jumping out. Just give me one second. I'm going to take these. Um, I've got the Ten of Wands here in love first at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to start with those of you separated from your person and um, and then and then if your person is somebody you are currently connected with, relatively new, I'm going to go there later, okay? Water signs, I'm not sure if you can hear me clearly, but just comment. Let me know if this is okay. I'm gonna do the best that I can to speak as loudly as possible, but there are a lot of people here. Um, all the rooms are like basically surrounded by this area. So I'm trying not to be too loud, just in case I bother people. But anyway, we're gonna get your reading started here, okay? If this is someone new, Eight of Swords in my two wands, and we've got the Eight of Pentacles here. This person is wondering if both of you could actually work together well um, or work together well as a couple or that they're wondering if they should invest in this connection if they want they wonder if they should put in work to this uh, into this connection because the two ones here again it's like somebody is standing at a crossroad just feeling really indecisive and obviously been thinking about it but they are in the midst of making a decision, okay? Or that they could be feeling like you are needing to make a decision in regards to them, whether they, sh whether you should be putting any t like time or effort into this connection, okay? And the Queen of Swords here in reverse kind of get maybe if some of you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, doesn't matter, King or Queen, it's not gender specific. And the Ten of Cups here in reverse, for some of you, um, there's some bitterness that I'm getting here. So your person could be feeling like you could be bitter about a past relationship that you thought that it could have been, you know, a happily ever after connection or that perhaps you could have been in a long-term relationship at one point or marriage that didn't quite turn out well. So they could be wondering if, you know, that could be some issues or I just feel like you know, they just feel like they need to get to know you better to see if you are a little bit jaded, to see if you are okay with starting a new relationship without bringing the baggages from the past. If this is someone new, okay? The Queen of Cups here in reverse, they could also be wondering if you love them, if you have emotions for them, or if you are emotionally available for, the, for this person, for them, okay? If this is someone new. But if this is someone that you are separated from, because Ten of Cups here in reverse can indicate a separation, they could be indecisive right now with the Two of Wands here. If this connection could work with the Eight of Pentacles here, perhaps um, you may have a certain perception about them and that you're not too happy about. Perhaps you have found certain things out about them that you may not be too fond about. Uh, to fond with with the moon here in Rob first could be secrets or it could be certain things that they may have or that you may have uh, found out about them again roles can be reversed between you and this person 
King of Pentacles in reverse can indicate your person could be a Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus and we've got the strength here in reverse. This for me could be an indication of them not having the courage to move forward, not having the courage to open up communication, especially if you haven't been really speaking with this person in a while. But they're indecisive also whether they should commit to you or give you what you want, whatever it is that you want, okay? This could apply to um, an ex or somebody you could be currently dealing with. Um, somebody new, okay? Let's see more water signs. Got the Nine of Cups here in reverse, um, the Temperance. They may feel like you are unhappy with them, unless, unless it's them feeling a little bit unhappy with you. Um, but the Temperance also can indicate them feeling like perhaps there needs to be some resolution, perhaps both of you should come to a balance or compromisation or that both of you should at least if nothing else to uh, be at peace with, with 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 the situation right for those of you if you have a child or children with this person they could also be thinking about or feeling that maybe both of you should be at peace with each other for the sake of the children or the child that's just for some of you if you have a child or children with this person However, if this is someone you are separated from, they do feel like, I feel like they're in the midst of deciding whether they should reconcile with you or not. But they also could be dissatisfied about certain things about this situation or could be with you. But also, you know, again, it can go vice versa. They could be feeling like you're dis dissatisfied about them uh, in regards to certain things. And they're not sure if they're ever going to make you happy, if, that, if both of you could ever be able to reconcile. They also could be wondering if someone wants you in reverse, if you've already completely given up on this connection. But you know, the temperance for me right now, it feels a bit like them just letting the universe takes care of this situation. I don't know why I'm seeing this. Um, this could also indicate patience. They could be feeling like they need to be patient towards you and that whatever happens, happens and that perhaps the decision is yours or that they could be patiently waiting for um, needing time or waiting for themselves to be able to make a decision in regards to you um, if this is someone new water signs they feel like they need time they need time and they need to see first if there could be a future for both of you obviously it looks like this connection may take some work uh, whether it's work in regards to past baggages or work in regards to distance work in regards of um, responsibilities if they could carry these responsibilities being in a relationship with you whatever the responsibilities whatever the responsibilities could be could be commitment or money or career and we've got the ace of wands here in love first they may also be feeling like um maybe you are not interested right there's someone here whom could be feeling like you're not interested with them or that you're not sure if you're interested in them but this could be a completely different person for all I know. But this could also be someone you are separated from. If you're separated from this person, they could be feeling like you're currently taking care of yourself. You're going through healing and recovery and that you may be rejecting them because you need some time. Or unless it's them needing time to heal and recover from whatever that may have transpired between the two of you. Um, and don't really want to show to you that they are that interested. Don't really want to show to you that this is what they really want because they just want to wait and see and they want to be patient about the whole thing. And the seven of wands here in reverse, they could also be feeling like you've given up on them. But four swords in reverse, if that's the case, then they are um, feeling really restless, losing sleep, right? Um, but at the same time, doing the best that they can to maintain cool or to be as patient as possible but i have to say this wherever this person is whether it's an ex or current person or new person it does feel like this person thinks about you a lot they're contemplating uh, about the future for the both of you but nothing is really set in stone as of right now i feel like they're not 100 percent sure yet if this is someone you're separated from, they're not sure if they should offer commitment to you or if, and that they're not sure if they could give you what you want. And it feels like time will tell or that they feel like they need to just go slow and be patient. And again, if this is someone new, they just feel they don't have the courage with the strength here in reverse to fully 
to fully invest emotionally as of right now and they feel like they need to again take things slowly to see that if if both of you could be the it's a balanced energy right with the temperance here both of you are compatible and six of cups here in reverse can indicate if you are separated from this person they feel like maybe they have some bad memories in regards to the past or that you may have some bad memories in regards to them in the past there's an energy of whether she will return or not if this is someone new and they may have some bad memories in regards to the past and they may not want to repeat it so they may want to take things slowly with you okay but they're definitely on their mind a lot they could be planning about the future in regards to you in regards to them how this connection is going to work between the two of you if both of you were to be in a committed relationship if they were to fully commit to you all right water signs pisces cancer scorpio this is your reading hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share, and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with two playlists on the screen right now and uh, the first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel check it out if you want to and the second playlist is from this channel it has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions but these readings are still new so they're still relevant as you guys know i post them every single day but in any case water signs hope to see you back here again tomorrow take care bye